Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Welcome back to SummerSlam. We're back. We return to SummerSlam. Um, we need some lights and solitary for Minsec, because uh, I just remembered that uh, we don't actually have any lights in there. Not that you really need lights and solitary, but it's, uh, it's good for them to be able to see what they're doing. Uh, we are on day 53. Uh, on day 54, which uh, is going to happen in the next couple of hours, I guess. Uh, we're going to be accepting some new intake, and uh, we're going to beef that up a little bit. Uh, we're going to accept some more uh, of these Minsec guys, because why not? Um, the more the merrier. It's going to bump up our prison population big time, uh, but it's worth it. We want to get a lot of guys in here working. Uh, we have lots of laundry to do, and these guys have six hours to do it. Look, we're bringing in just baskets and baskets full full of filthy, dirty laundry for these guys to sniff and lick and put in the washing machines. I mean, it's got to be said, a lot of them are just sort of milling around doing nothing. But at the same time, that's all part and parcel of working at a job as well, right? Like, there is a lot of downtime too. So there is that. Is this locked open currently? No, it's not. It's on a, it's on a remote thing, so all the right people are getting through, and that's good. Perfect. Okay, uh, so last time we said that we were going to have this yard shared by normal and uh, Minsec, and that's probably okay. Um, yard time is coming up very shortly, so we'll see how that works out. And I'm pretty sure Minsec and normal sec share the same yard time, so that's probably okay too. Uh, it'll be a chance for like old friends and acquaintances to meet up again together. Um, you know, some of them obviously more hardened criminals uh, than others. But there you go. Look, the Minsec guys have made it out. A couple of them have scooped up the good chairs. One dude is having a shower. Now he's joined by another dude who's also having a shower. And it looks like the normal set guys are starting to make their way over. Upset that there's no chairs left. But taking dumps, having showers, talking on the phone, doing some praying. Uh, there's a whole bunch of weight benches out here that are just not being used. I mean, maybe one or two guys are thinking about it. We have one person, Warren Bird, who's decided to pump some iron out here in front of all of his colleagues in the prison. Um, and that seems to be going well. Great. Uh, we still have 19 prisoners up for parole. We're still waiting for uh, somebody to arrive on death row. Let's just make sure that we've actually got that open and ready to go. Um, there's nobody out there in the world ready for death what the shit oh i see look at it. it's the ratio stuff so we want the ratios to be all to the max right maybe the ratio thing was was fucking us over before on death row like maybe we have to like make death row high and then we have like these ones like this or do we just go maximum full blast for everything open it all up and get as many guys as we can in all right we currently have eight prisoners arriving, four minimum security and four normal security, and they're, ha they're going to arrive here in 13 hours' time. Perfect. All right, so we have a big-ass infirmary now. Uh, it's shared, and that's fine. We have uh, visitation, which is currently being shared by everybody. Um, I guess visitation is probably one of the next things that needs to be looked at. We don't really want this big shared visitation space. Uh, in fact... We probably want to have a um, set of booths for maximum security's visitation um, so that they can't, like, touch people because they are, like, total animals. Uh, and then we'll have a big old space, like an open space like this for Minsec because they're allowed to, like, get fresh with their visitors um, and maybe, like, a mix of booths and um, open plan for... Fuck, we, do, we don't need all of these solitary cells. Like, it's insane how many of these there are. But at the same time, there's not really much I could do now. We planned it that way. Um, but I guess there's going to be a lot of these guys. So maybe maybe even more than there will be in here of Minsec. Hard to tell, actually. All right. Another job that is definitely on the list of things to do is hook up this wing uh, with uh, this wing. Uh, by a hallway. So, we'll get a foundation put down. Uh, hopefully this metal detector thing stays here, but we'll probably move it over here and move the door into the middle as well. Um, and then we'll make sure that a lot of this fencing and stuff is sorted out so that we have it staff only. Um, and then we should be good. Like this fence here, for instance, does not need to be here. Likewise, this fence. Also, I would say this fence does not need to be here anymore either. 
And we could probably do with getting rid of this door because it's a real pain in the butt too. So let's open it up. There's like a little slab of concrete under there too and it's kind of annoying. All right, perfect. We have this big gap here for like no reason whatsoever. There's no, there's no reason why we couldn't just extend this down, the foundation down and shove some more prisoners in here. Currently have a prison population of 110 dudes in prison. Oh crap, another job that we need to do as well. Because we don't want our workmen just sitting around screwing the pooch all day long. <laughs> we want to we want to get some showers set up in Minsec so that these guys can come in here and have their showers just like every other prisoner in the goddamn place. Uh, but they can have it at their leisure, right? Nobody's going to be like desperate for a shower. So they can just have a shower whenever they goddamn well feel like it and that should be fun. Any concrete floor there too? Perfect. We're gonna need some pipes. Uh, we're gonna run the pipes up like this. And do we have some hot water pipes too? Hopefully these hot water pipes will stretch over here and it'll work. We'll have to see, uh, but we should be fine. Okay, we're saying that this is going to be a dorm in here too. Um, so somebody is going to have a partner for life inside of this cell, the bunk bed. And one toilet that faces this way instead perfect great so i don't know who it's going to be um maybe it'll be part of the new intake i have no idea uh we have to be on the lookout for snitches and ex-law enforcement and stuff we want to keep those guys safe how are we doing for maximum security we have uh 33 guys and we have capacity for 38 so maximum security um as i've said many times before we don't accept intake of uh, we just bump people up to maximum security when they need to but things have been running so well in SummerSlam recently that I'm not even sure that we need to do that. Like, it'd be good to have um, it full to capacity. But at the same time, we probably always want to have, like, one or two cells left over just in case um, shit really hits the fan. Do we need to punish Soresby? <sighs> Fuck. You. you know, I think we probably do. <laughs> I think the time has come now for Soresby to realize his full punishment. We cannot put him on death row, okay? Uh, but we can do a permanent lockdown for him. Uh, and we could do a permanent lockdown for him, like out here somewhere, I'm thinking. We'll give him like a big enough cell. So I'm thinking we put a door here and then we have windows like all the way around so that when the other prisoners are out here in the yard, they can laugh at him while he's in this cell and he can never get out. He's killed a lot of people. It's got to be said. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> We're going to build Soresby his own private little cell. We're going to send him to it, and we're going to give him permanent lockdown so that we have to, like, deliver his food to him. Um, and he's going to have pretty much everything he needs in there, uh, and he's never going to get out of there. And maybe if somebody is really misbehaving, we'll turn it into a dorm and send them in there as well. And then, actually, let's start off as a dorm with a bunk bed just for Soresby. And then, if anybody's really, really bad in MinSec or MaxSec or whatever, uh, we'll up them to have to live with Soresby in permanent lockdown. And Soresby can then kill them. So it'll be like a, like a mini death row. Um, I don't know. Maybe like... I'm thinking like if like an ex-law enforcement officer, somebody starts playing up, we can just send them into like the battle arena with Soresby and that would be pretty good. All right, so we're going to need a jail door here for sure. Um, and then once that's built, we'll put the windows up and everything. Oh man, Soresby's going to be loving this. He's, he's probably thinking like, oh, the warden loves me so much. I'm going to get my very own cell. I, I don't think prisoners die of natural causes in this game. Does anyone have a game where um, they've managed to have a prisoner for so long that they've gotten so old and died of natural causes? Like, is that a mechanic in the game? It'd be pretty cool if it was. I'm just saying. But, like, at the same time, I don't expect that to be the case. So, whatever. Um, fine. We have a dorm now for, uh, which should be for Minsec. Uh, and it does seem to be. So, that's fine. Uh, so, that means that we are... Uh, accepting eight minimum security prisoners and six normal security prisoners in seven hours time. And we're going to get paid 5,400 bucks for that too. Shit, that is fantastic. All right. Uh, we have a big pipe coming from there. That's nice. We're going to run some electrics into his cell as well. This is where we're going to cage the beats. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, I don't know if this is even gonna work, but we're gonna try anyway. Uh, he's gonna need a water boiler as well. <laughs> he's gonna get his own water boiler. What a lucky guy. Holy shit, he's like a prince. Jesus Christ. Prince Sorsby living it up inside his own cell with his own water boiler and everything. Uh, we're gonna give him a light and some, like, exercise equipment and shit so he can keep in tip-top shape. Uh, and of course, we're also going to give him a bunk bed. Um, I think what we're gonna do, are we gonna ever make su a Supermax wing? Uh, we can't accept intake for Supermax. So Supermax, I guess, is another thing where... Or can you? Let's see, intake. No. Okay, so we can... The maximum we can get in is, is max sec, right? Which gives us a lot of money. We should probably fill it up. Uh, so Supermax... We can make swords be Supermax, and we can make this thing here a Supermax cell, right? Let's leave this... Let's lock it open for now so these guys can actually get in here and do their jobs unhindered. That'd be good. Um, we'll make him Supermax, and then we know that all we have to do is upgrade somebody to Supermax for them to live in this dorm with them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the shame windows all around the walls too, right? Because we want everybody to be able to look in and see what's going on in here at all times. He loves freedom. He's not going to get, like, any freedom whatsoever now. It's going to be really terrible. All right. So we make this a dorm, right? Um, and then deployment-wise, we make this <laughs> super max. Is that right? Yeah, okay. It's super max only in there now. Uh, we're going to need a bunk bed for Soresby and his victim. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to need a toilet in here, too. He's going to need a shower in here, too, with a drain. Uh, we're gonna give him... what else? Let's give him a comfy chair to sit in next to the shower, because why not? Uh, he's definitely gonna need a TV of some description, and he's gonna need a weights bench, too, um, to work on his muscles. Get big and beefy and all buffed up, ready, uh, for when people get assigned to Supermax and he manages to kill them. I don't know if I can lose the game by building this. I mean, it does seem excessively cruel, but at the same time, Sorsby has killed five dudes in here <laughs> and probably deserves it. So now Sorsby's got his own, like, little place to live and stuff, and that's pretty nice. All right. Great. What else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, visitation. We were thinking about um, extending out visitation or changing around the way visitation works. We're going to have to plan for that somehow. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it just yet. Uh, so we might have to, like, think about it a bit more. Um, and, of course, the radio jingle and everything. This must be the only prison in the world who can't attract death row inmates. I mean, how many days has death row been up and running and ready to go? And still, not a single inmate turn up, make use of these lavish facilities uh, ahead of their um, execution. I don't really get it, but there you go. There are no canteens accessible by the cell. That's okay. We're going to cook food for whoever is in this cell because they'll be on permanent lockdown um, they don't need a canteen it just means that this really annoying thing is going to be blinking here until the end of time uh, but that's fine okay let's put door mode to normal oh shit did we just find oh hang on a second oh lord Oh, no, 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 you son of a bitch! Can we lock down? Shake down. No! No, it's Tom Headland! He's made it out! Oh, damn it! We should have checked down here! Shit! Alright, we're doing a shakedown. Fuck me! Alright, we have to get in here and dismantle, like, all of these toilets, okay? Um, Alright, so, dismantle that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. We're gonna find these, this hole for sure. We also have to get out here and remove this tunnel for sure. And then there's gonna be... We're gonna find the rest of the tunnels as well. Get in there and remove it. Come on. No. What was that? Oh, it's, he's dumping the dummy. I see. Oh, Jesus Christ. This whole time we're working on Swordsby's like, lavish, super awesome cell. And some dude is escaping. He was a normal security prisoner, and he's managed to escape, if you can believe that. Alright, we're doing a full search. We have 
a whole bunch of intake turning up in the next. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, we have to dismantle this toilet. This guy was thinking of getting out. We managed to find his wooden pickaxe. Crap, when was the last time we... No. Who died? Who actually... What the fuck? What did he die of? <laughs> what the shit? Why did he die? <laughs> what? Oh, is it like health related or something? Oh, he had an active addic addiction. Did he die of like an overdose or something? What the fuck? We've had an escape and a random death as well. I haven't been keeping track. So we're going to have to go in here and see. Have we found any more pickaxes? No. We did find his pickaxe. Uh, we searched his toilet. We haven't found any tunnels as of yet. Okay, let's get the dogs down here to sniff out some potential tunnels. All right, we've plugged. Okay, I see. It's just this one. Okay, so we can actually remove these orders. We don't need to dump these toilets anymore. Um, I don't even think we need to do this one anymore either. Fuck that guy. Seriously. Holy shit. What an asshole. He's just been working on it this whole time. You know, I... I make all these nice facilities and mega canteens and stuff for these guys. And what do they do? They just build tunnels in the night. <laughs> tunnels in the night. Leading outside of prison. Oh, I can't believe it. All right, you guys get in there and you do that. And uh, you know what else we're going to do? We have a couple of spare guards, so check this out, okay? We're going <laughs> to around the clock surveillance of Soresby as well. Because why the shit not, right? It's going to be great. We need to make sure <laughs> we've got someone stationed around here. All right, Soresby, now is your time to shine, bucko. Where are you? Oh, yeah, here he is. Okay, you're now in Supermax. <laughs> and you're going to go in permanent lockdown, you son of a bitch. That's right. Make your way to your stupid ass cell. Oh, look at this. Finally, the criminal mastermind is behind bars. Hey, what the fuck is going on? It closed his stupid ass cell? Oh, wait. It's Supermax. Okay, I see what's going on. All right. So we have to make sure that lock... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I don't know if they're going to feed him now, but we'll have to see. It may be that we kill Soresby uh, just by starving him out. I have no idea. All right, anyway, uh, the danger level is currently high. There's lots of prisoners with serious complaints, mostly because of the search and the big shakedown that's going on. And this is uh, owing to the fact that somebody managed to escape for christ's sake our second escape in 54 days that's not bad going all things considered and we have pretty much like the biggest asshole of the entire prison permanently locked up in here as well with his own guard doing the rounds do we need a cctv camera inside his cell too i have no idea why did he just open that somebody need to be let out Notice that he doesn't have any vision, like, into this window. Like, we can't even see what's going on inside Soresby's cell. I think we are going to need a CCTV camera. Can we even... <laughs> There's no room for one. <laughs> we can set one up right above the shower, apparently. Okay, fine. Let's do that. Jesus Christ. All right, the shakedown is almost complete as well, uh, which would be nice. It would be nice to finally draw a line under this shakedown. Uh, we're going to have to see if we found any more pickaxes. Those are the big ones, right? Okay, pickaxes, yes. All right, we found one in this cell. Um, we found two more in here as well. For fuck's sake. Jeez, really? All right. Let's dismantle these toilets then. Where else did we find one? It was like in here, right? It's this guy. Fucking Adam Sandler's trying to escape. All right, dismantle his toilet too, please. Uh, who else? Who else has, has a pickaxe that needs a toilet dismantled? Uh, there's two down there. We found this one. It's too late. There's a couple of hammers and stuff here. Oh, the Minsec guys are really well behaved. Look, most of the stuff that we found from them was just like um, at the at the things and not in their cells, which is nice. Okay, anyone try and fuck me? Look at all the drills that we found. <laughs> Jeez, I guess like the driller killer is is slowly trying to recruit people into his evil criminal empire, whereby he um, you know obtains drills <laughs> and then kills people with them. Fucking unreal. 
Uh, is this... <laughs> okay, yeah. Here we go, Swordsby. <laughs> we're, we're installing your stupid-ass CCTV camera now. Is this gonna work? <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's get the CCTV monitor up and running now for Swordsby. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we can see Swordsby. How is he feeling? He's suppressed. He's very volatile. He's thinking about family, warmth, and literacy. Oh, and now he's taking a poop as well. Nice. Shit, I guess we do have to give him a radiator somehow. I mean, there's no room for one, though. <laughs> Shit, okay, we could put one, like, right in the middle of his cell, apparently. Okay, he's gonna have one of, like, those portable ones. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Holy shit. I mean, it's really satisfying as well, because this guy has been a total asshole, like, the whole time. Alright, did we find any new tunnels? Anyone? We've dismantled many toilets after uh, finding a whole bunch of pickaxes. Maybe we found them at the right time. I don't see any tunnels. Okay, fine. So which cells are currently missing toilets? Um, there's a whole bunch. There's this one as well. Those are the only cells that we found pickaxes in, so I'm hoping that we're going to be okay here. Uh, if we can get a guard dog up here at some point, we can do some sniffing as well and see if we miss like any potential tunnels, but maybe we're okay. Oh, look at these fucking assholes. Just getting their learn on. Look, this guy's holding up the Bible, saying, I solemnly swear that I am going to learn today. It's the last thing that I do. Wait. Did we just get some fresh intake? Because I noticed that there's a whole bunch of... <laughs> they didn't even dump the dummy. Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to have to go in here. And we're going to have to take a look to see if we got... Okay. We have a snitch. We did. Okay. So, is it this guy who's a snitch? Duncan Holt? Yes. You're going to have to go into protective custody, my friends. Uh, you are not safe. Especially for gross indecency. I mean, that's fucking terrible. All right. So, we have a snitch. Uh, who else? We have a, a prisoner of unknown reputation. That was a minimum security snitch as well. That's crazy. Do we have any ex-law enforcement that's just entered the prison that we missed? We missed that. This is a volatile snitch, apparently. Uh, him. Allegedly. He's been sentenced to three years for multiple crimes, including violent disorder and criminal damage. Uh, but he's also a snitch. Is he a snitch? Yeah, he is. Okay. All right. Protective custody for you too, my friend. Um, well, you're not really my friend. Actually, you're just like a fucking piece of shit who's inside of SummerSlam. But um, I am going to protect you as well as I can by putting you into protective custody. Uh, which actually puts us in an awkward position. We need to make some more cells in protective custody. And probably unpause the game too. We only have capacity for three apparently but we need uh, a few more so let's do this um actually we might as well just build it all out and i guess we probably these guys always seem to be fucking harboring weapons so let's get a couple of solitary cells in there too all right jesus christ uh are we escorting this guy out of here because he's not safe I mean, he's just sitting there. He might even... You never know. He might have a hit out on him right now as we speak. What are you doing? Don't make me send you into Sorsby's Boom Boom Saloon because I'll do it. <laughs> Look, he's fucking milling around here. He's got 157 bucks on him. That's the biggest joke of all. The guy has been in solitary for so fucking long. He's got all of his money saved up. He's not been able to spend it. He's not been able to spend his pocket money at the shop because he spends all of his time in solitary. That is the worst part of it. All right. Are we going to get this guy back? Like, he is in protective custody. So what the hell is he doing in this canteen? Like, get out of here, dude. Holy shit. Scott Naubati, please make your way to this canteen. What's going on with this camp? There's no kitchens capable of sending food to this canteen. For real? Is it because we made this one like a... Oh, shit. Okay, fine. We'll make them their own kitchen in here as well. This is the protective custody kitchen. Or is about to be anyway. Uh, which consists of... Um, well, one of everything. Because it has to feed like five dudes. So, whatever. Alright, let's get a light. Uh, let's get a cooker. One cooker. We don't want these guys operating the cooker or anything. We'll get a fridge installed too. Uh, we might as well get a couple of windows up in here too. And 
how are we doing in terms of like heat and stuff in here? Are we okay? Oh shit, this is actually oh fuck me, it's done. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, we can demolish these walls. <laughs> There's no way in here. That's why they're not coming. I've totally fucking forgot about this. Please! Somebody get these guys out of here! <laughs> it's really important! Shit, they're gonna get killed! Well, they're probably not. Normal and Minsec. We're just gonna knock down these walls and then these guys can finally make their way down to their new digs. Hopefully that construction worker is all about it. Oh look, there's like completely no <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a blunder. How did those other construction workers make it in here to start working on this stuff? I don't get it. <laughs> like, what did they just, like, osmos through the walls or something? Oh, look, they're all on cleaning duty. That's hilarious. Holy shit. This canteen, we could probably stretch it out, actually, to cover this whole area so that we have visibility. I, th I think at one point we were going to make a chapel or something down here, but I just never got around to it. Anyway, finally they can get in. Uh, we could probably do with having a servo on there, but actually likely that we're just going to move this door out of here um, and get rid of these walls too. So let's do this. Fucking okay, please. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Let's get rid of these walls too. Um, and then we'll just put like a some different walls and a door in the middle, I guess. What are you guys doing down here? You're not allowed in here. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Look at this. Oh crap, I see what's happened. Look, because I'm about to destroy the wall too, it's going to go all haywire in a minute. Okay, we need to like, get back on this straight away then. So what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, okay, fine. We'll open this door, get the construction workers down. This is a fucking mess from hell. Like, th there's a max sick guy here that could have just come down here and assassinated all of these dudes, no problem. Thank God he didn't. All right, so this door is now gone. These walls are now gone, and we can put in the new stuff. Perfect. We'll dismantle this as well. Uh, and let us order up a jail door that we already have. And we will also put a door servo on here too. For that to happen as well. Oops. We'll hook it up to the remote thing. Wait, is there no door here? Fuck me. Where did this door go? <laughs> oh no, it is there. I just can't see it. Where the hell is it? Is it just like hidden behind the servo or something? Oh yeah, it's perfectly hidden. Behind the servo, Jesus Christ. All right, all of the protected uh, uh, custody guys are in the yard, except for one. I have no idea where he is. Is he still in? He's gotta be out here somewhere. Is he out here? Uh-oh. What's going on? Somebody's been tased, who was it? Oh, I see. Oh, see, when worlds collide, there's been a fight in this shared yard. Oh, it's nice, though. The max set guys are sticking to their own yard, so that's good. Okay, perfect. So once this is in, then we can change this deployment to be uh, protect custody only. And then we would definitely like to um, do this. Probably that, too. And let's also hook up some pipes to here. And we're going to need some hot water in here, too, for this sink. Uh, and then we should be good to go. Should be able to uh, get food from this kitchen into this canteen. Oh, I see. We didn't really need to do this, but it's probably worth doing anyway. Uh, it's because it was closed off, and that's why we couldn't get it. Fine. Whatever. Jesus Christ. What a piece of hell. Okay, let's put that back there, too. Uh, wait for this servo to be installed. But with the walls up and everything, that means that this can now be protected only, too. What a wing. <laughs> what a place. <laughs> Look at this servo. What's going on? Please, can somebody please get in here and sort this out? We do have a guard, if you can believe that. Okay, we're going to hook this up to the remote door network, uh, which is going to be nice because then we don't have to rely on... There we go. Perfect. Now, uh, goods can uh, easily flow in and out, and we should be good. Excellent. Holy crap. Anyway, another thrilling day in SummerSlam. Soresby is the laughing stock of the prison at this point. <laughs> Look at all the gear he has in here. It's unbelievable. Just taking your smalls, Mr. Soresby. Ah, oh, excellent. He's like really depressed and he'll never kill again because he's never going to get out of there. I mean, we should make one for the driller killer as well. This is perfect. I'm like quite happy just like making another one of these and putting the driller killer right in beside him. Um, same sort of thing, and then we can send people in there as punishment to spend some time with Soresby. So if we're ever thinking like, oh, hang on a second, you know, maybe somebody should go to solitary or whatever. No, spend some time with Soresby. That'll sort you out if he doesn't kill you first. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.